right, let's play this in full here. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, that cracked me up. I like how, like how he just sneaks away and the dragon doesn't do anything. So, hold on, I got some questions here. Um, you were writing about, I had some more thought process and stuff. See, I got some questions in terms of where are we? Why is there, why is the diamond on the stick? You know, is that, is, is that out in the wild? I think it could be something, I mean, no, does it, I mean, does it really matter? Just showing off animation, probably not, but I always like to think about those things. What could we do to make this a bit more interesting? The thing is that he comes in and it's almost slightly playful, sneaky. Grabs this, sees that the dragon is awake, and it just kind of sneaks out. So here's my here's my thought. This and this seems very similar despite the holding. It's almost like when he does this, you can have a bit more of a freaked out couple steps back, and then he starts running away. Where you just, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe the diamond is bigger so he can put it under his arm and then. You know, the other arm, just lots of back and forth, a big running away. As the dragon then turns his head and his eyes get really big. We're just, I don't know, there's something where I think we could take this idea and push it further. Um, and actually, now that I'm scrubbing through this, watch out, there's this weird thing of completely pivoting off the head. And only now does he move forward. I would just go backwards from here. And then have him, you know, further back here. So there's a constant translation there. There's something slightly pausey about those things. By that I mean, like, you get that foot up, hold, foot up, hold. Everything has a bit of a, a pause there. Even then, when you get to this, you go, oh, pause and down. Which I think this could be a bit more overlappy in terms of as you finish this turn, he can go already get into this type of action. Not that it's like a casual walk, pass and grab, but less of a very specific turn, stop, and then very twins here, the arm pose and the timing going down to grab this. So just a bit more overlappy in their actions. Yeah, and then I feel like they would be just, whoo, you know, like this is almost the beginning of a nice jump back and then into a run out. But that would be my thought. Or my question for you, how far do you want to take this? Where do you want to change the ending? Um, you know, do you want to get technical notes on this? It's almost like you have this on some rock pieces, then you got some skeletons and skulls. You know, it's like multiple people have tried this. And then, you know, more rock stuff and just give this some sets and then he just comes in um trying to steal that that diamond i don't know that's kind of my thought there on this making this a bit more interesting but that is up to you i know this is just i guess i'm assuming kind of a placeholder telling the story but i think this could be fun to also go a bit further where it's almost like he's running out and then the dragon lifts you know imagine some cast shadow and the dragon lifts the head and really gets some big eyes you can almost make some i don't know how far you can push this rig to give it some more cartoony eyes i don't know that's my that's my thought for that one then we have this guy here two things that stand out to me i think these are too snappy it's like one frame yeah it's one frame give this at least two if not three i mean not that this will be very bendy but i think this is a bit too snappy over one frame I do like the the contrast, right? This one is just a bit smaller. This one, so it's always like this, right? I'm assuming, given that it's an actual full cycle, yeah. So I'll just reduce that snap on this. And then as it, you know, it's... I feel like there's a lot of hip stuff there. Where... Pushes the hips up. The direction is correct. Make sure there's definitely... No, it looks like it. There's wire rotation. Uh, to me, it feels like you want to reduce the hips. Like 
20% a bit. You can also reduce them in Y. There's something very swimmy. Was well, the other thing that I'm looking at is if you look at his chest here and you look at that line here with um, the, where the belly button is. You know what I mean? Like I'm looking at how far this travels back and forth, back and forth, and these guys stay static. But that must be an enveloping thing. It's a bit of, a bit of a weird thing. But to me, it seems like that snappy thing. These guys could be toned down a bit. I would even add a bit more translate side to side, given his size. Not too much. I mean, I know he's a bit faster than a slow stomp, so there would be less left and right, given the speed. But I think a little bit more, and the, uh, maybe some more variation in the finger posing there ever so slightly. It's a bit better here, but a bit defaulty. I feel like the hands are a bit almost hit hit a wall going forward. You can see the spacing here and then it kind of sticks. So I would swing those and ease in and out of these a bit more. They feel just a bit harsh there. And then the biggest thing is that this head feels it's like an IK head. I don't see any impact of any stomps. Not that again it's it's not a, it's not a stomp, but given the way then it needs to be some sharper some drag overlap on the up and down on the head, a bit of a sideways. It could be having it could have an overall tilt over, so it's not this default straight down. That seems more like whatever you call this on rigs. You know, if it's a head align, head IK, whatever controllers call, but that's kinda that's kinda what I feel that if I would I know it's almost like you could almost slow I know it feels like you almost want to slow it down by 15%, even 20% maybe. And then by adding more side to side, give it a bit more hefty weight there. And then with some impact and overlap on the head, give this a bit more weight. And then you want to smooth out again, like those arms and lessen that pop. I think it'll be in a good spot. All right. These are kind of my thoughts on that. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.